So you're in the exam and you see this question in front of you. At the moment, you're probably feeling like, <gasps> but by the end of the video, you'll be feeling more like, yeah. So the question is how? So how can we break this down and how can we make this easier for you? And Sam here with another video dividing by two digit numbers. But before I get started, please do click that like button. It really does help me a ton. Okay, we'll now get started. So if you look above me, we're going to do a very, very quick 30 second recap of normal division. So if we go through this problem, so how many fours go into five? Well, that's going to be one remainder one. How many fours go into 14? Well, three times, four times three is 12. So three, then we have a remainder two. And then finally, how many fours then go into 24? So you'll see that's equal to six. And at this point, you're probably thinking, okay, well, how does this actually help me with two digit division? Well, what we're gonna do is a very nice technique called repeated division. Right, let's go and do an example. Okay, so you can see the original problem just below me here. So this was 660 divided by 12. And what we're gonna do is here this repeated uh, division. So notice that 12 is actually the same as six times two. So rather than dividing by 12 and try to do it in one go, we're gonna split it into two very straightforward calculations. First of all, we're gonna take that 660 and we're going to divide that by six. So we can do that in a normal way that we did before. So six into six goes one, six into six goes one, and don't forget our placeholder with the zero. Then we take that answer up here, and then we divide by its other factor. So we divide it by two. So I'm taking the answer up here, and now I'm going to divide it by the second number here too. And again, this is also a really straightforward way to divide. Twos into one go zero, we carry the one. Twos into 11 go five, carry the one. And twos into 10 go five. So our final answer to this question is 55. And if you're not happy with your 12 times table or 15 times table or something absolutely crazy, then this is a really, really effective way of dividing numbers. Now you know the key idea of dividing by two digit numbers. Now it's over to you. So this is my problem to you. 612 divided by 36. Now you can take the root on the left, divide by six, and then divide by six again. Or you can take the root on the right, divide by nine, and then divide by four. Or you could find another route to take as well. The choice is yours. And if you have an answer for me, then do pop it down in the comments below as well. And if you're interested in primes and factors in more detail, then do check out the video over here.